our YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss with you about phototherapy. Phototherapy is the light treatment given to the baby to normalize serum bilirubin level. Nearly 10 to 20 percent of the newborn need phototherapy treatment. Now we can see the definition of phototherapy. Phototherapy is the application of fluorescent light to the infant exposed skin. Light promote bilirubin excretion by photoisomeration which alter the structure of the bilirubin to soluble form for easier excretion. Let us see the indication of phototherapy. Baby's serum bilirubin levels go above 15 mg per deciliter. They need phototherapy treatment. Why the newborns are prone for jaundice? When RBC is broken down, they release unconjugated bilirubin. Due to immaturity of the liver, liver is unable to convert unconjugated bilirubin into conjugated bilirubin effectively in some babies that lead to hyperbilirubinemia. If unconjugated bilirubin is not treated, it will enter the brain barrier and it affects the brain. That condition is termed as hernicterus. Now we can see the types of jaundice. Basically, there are two types of jaundice. The first one is the physiological jaundice. It appears after 2 to 3 days of newborn life. Pathological jaundice, it will appear within the 24 hours of birth. The babies, those who are high risk for hyperbilinuremia is the babies belongs to preterm and low birth than the normal term babies. The symptom is hyperbilinuremia in a newborn baby. Yellow discoloration of the skin and mucous membrane. This often start on a baby's face and moves down to body. Then poor feeding, lethargy, sclera of eye looks yellow, dark urine and stool. These are the important signs and symptoms that we can see in babies suffering with jaundice. Next, the important aspect of phototherapy is mechanism of phototherapy. So, mechanism of phototherapy has three modes. The first one is the geometric photoisomeration and the second one is isomerization. Third one is oxidation mechanism. In the first method, unconjugated bilirubin is converted into conjugated bilirubin and it is excreted in urine and stool. Whereas, in second and third method, without conjugation, the bilirubin is directly eliminated in urine and the bile. Okay. Next, we can see the procedure of phototherapy. Before doing any procedure, the first step is explain the procedure to the mother and caregiver. And also here you have to explain the reason for keeping the baby under the phototherapy. Then undress the baby completely and eyes of the baby should be covered with iPad. Then keep the baby at the distance of 45 cm from the light source. Monitor the temperature periodically to ensure any fluctuation in the temperature when the baby is in the phototherapy. Next, we can give supplemental feeding will be given to the baby because baby's body may lose extra water through the skin due to this phototherapy. So, additionally 20 to 40 ml per kg per daily should be given. Check the weight of the baby daily. Bilirubin level will be tested every day when the baby is under phototherapy. Next, phototherapy is usually stopped for 30 minutes every 2 to or 3 to 4 hours and the baby is given to the mother for breastfeeding. Turn the position of the baby frequently. Signs of degradation will be checked periodically and hydrate the baby with the intravenous fluid or breastfeeding. Ensure baby pass adequate urine around 6 to 8 times in a day. Maintain intake output chart. Then observe the baby for any evidence of complication due to phototherapy and maintain 
nurses record about the duration of treatment the starting and the end of the therapy now we can see the what are the complication that occur due to phototherapy the important complication is the bronzy baby syndrome it is nothing but it is a brownish black discoloration of the skin mucous membrane and urine this happened because of exposed to the bili light next thing is the skin rashes then loose green stool dehydration and hypothermia these all are the important complication of phototherapy so today class we have discussed regarding the important topic of phototherapy i hope this class will be useful for you thank you all